M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. I just thought I'd show these together. So you've got the STS3600. I know it's black and white, but I tell you what, it's really good value and it's virtually identical in how it functions to the STS100 and 200. It's just black and white, but less than half the price. You know, that's what you've got to remember. And also it has AA rechargeable batteries. It's quite a slim device, Look, quite a slim device. So I really actually recommend the 3600 or the 436, I really do. And it's the one, if anyone asks me, which one should I get? I always say this one. I do like the Uniden 125. I don't know you've got the new 160, but I, I think these are a better scanner if you want to spend around 400 pounds. So you can see them all searching away. SDS 200, why'd you get that one? Well, you know, it's a base station, isn't it? You get the nice big screen. They've all got their waterfall. These two have got the waterfall. It'd be interesting if they ever had a waterfall in black and white, because I still think it would be useful. So you just go menu, go to waterfall here, start, and it works well, and it's on DMR, and my DMR has not been affected at all by the waterfall upgrade. It just works great on, on both sets. Although, you know, I actually prefer this nice color screen, but if we're gonna show you it anyway, waterfall, waterfall, that's what it looks like. And you can hear it there. And DMR. I, I love all these scanners. Part of my YouTube channel is to learn about as many scanners as I can. So I have several, as you know. Yeah, QSY and right up, right up, So people quite often say to me, well, which one do you prefer? Well, I love the portability of the STS-100, but it's got that massive battery on it. It's not very pocket friendly. The 3600 is, and also because it's cheaper, I'm not as afraid of dropping it. I do have this really nice leather case for the 3600 which i think is well worth it i don't really want to take this one out because it's you know it's such an expensive item in the uk 800 pounds but if i dropped it and broke it and damaged it i'd be very unhappy so i don't tend to take it out and obviously this is a base station um my favorite of the three yeah the 200 of course it's a lovely base station you can sit there and you can monitor all your favorites and you can have favorites you can connect via your ethernet here to your software and there's lots of good software proscran arc 536 and other free software as well or you can use the micro usb you've got sd cards in all three of these have got sd cards so you know I, they're just good scanners and there's always people are always gonna have their favorites just remember the way they work it's the you have the system Let's say the system could be say we could call it like um, airports and then you have the department you could have that as say the department could be cities and then I suppose the, the, the last tree is channel, could be the channel. So you've got systems, inside systems is departments, and inside departments are the channels. So that's the sort of way the Uniden, the newer Uniden scanners work. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Hope you find it interesting. And yes, AA batteries, rechargeable, no batteries in this. This you have to buy, you can buy a slimmer battery. Um, um, but really, if you have a spare battery, then you have to buy the battery charger. And annoyingly, to get that in the UK is really expensive. So please, someone stock it in the UK because we need it. Um, but otherwise, I love all these scanners. Bye for now, 7-3. All the best.